Educational system, the education system in Israel, the formal school system, is uh, mostly separated Jews and Arabs. And there are many people who are asking about it, why should it be like that? And uh, my, my, what, what I can say about it is that mostly it's, it's a very challenging uh, project to make it the other way right now in Israel. Many reasons for it. First, from the beginning of the, from the, from the establishment of this state, uh, we didn't know how, to, how it would be the relationship between Jews and Arabs. And during the years, uh, the, uh, this, the Israeli state is not separating church and state. And uh, religion, religious studies are done in schools, even when it's public schools, not religious schools. All the schools are public, but it's still we are learning, uh, we are teaching uh, religious studies in schools, which means we, we will teach Bible for, for the Jewish people, we'll teach Quran for the Muslims, and, and, and New Testament for the Christians. And it, it's a, a big challenge to combine it. The other reason is most of Israeli Arab population still living in, in villages, uh, which are, are mostly Arab villages. And uh, either you, you have to bust them a, a long time. And the other thing is that because they're living separate, most of them, is that they don't speak Hebrew. They don't speak Hebrew until they are grown up. Even though they are learning Hebrew 10 years in school, starting second or third grade, all the way up, it's in obligatory studies, they are not practicing at home. So the Hebrew is very poor. And it's just not fair to have them uh, uh, learning in, in language that will, uh, in, from the beginning will cause them to fail in the examination and have the less opportunities for, for high education later. Because when you go to universities in Israel, it's mixed, no problem. But then it's your responsibility if you want to learn. You have to know the, the language, the, the first language of the state. And in this case, I feel very uh, good as a Jew in Israel because it's like everybody everywhere else. It's like for everybody who comes to the United States, he needs to, be, to know English to go to the university. If you go in Italy, you need to go Italian to go to university. Or if you go to a private college or even a public college but by Arab, Arab management, you can learn in Arabic. And it's, 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 uh, uh, you can find it. But higher education is mixed because in, at this age, people know the language in, good enough to, to be succeeding. Uh, the, um, another reason is that everybody wants to preserve his culture. And because the culture every, everywhere around the world, culture is a result or it comes out of religion everywhere. The American culture is mostly coming out of the Christian religion. The, uh, I think in Italy also. And in Israel, the majority is Jewish, so the, it's out of the Jewish religion. And for the Arabs, it's losing the identity going to be in public schools and learning mostly with the majority about his, uh, his uh, holidays, his culture. So what we need to do, I think, is to create more opportunities for schools to get together, to have programs for uh, general studies, like for English, for geography, for history, for theater. And there are many, many programs like that in Israel, that schools that are neighbors are bringing kids together to learn uh, subjects that are uh, learning the same. Uh, it's done. It, should, have been, it should, be, should be done more in informal education, and there are many opportunities for it. And hopefully, uh, we learn more and more during the years to, we will learn to combine more and more activities. But I'm not, I can't see right now a, a, a joined, joined system for Jews and Arabs in Israel, not because Jews and Arabs, because the many, many obstacles we have. Even one more obstacle I didn't say, it's coming from culture, is dress, dress code. 70% um, of the, uh, at least Muslim uh, parents, uh, will not allow their kids, especially girls, to go to be in a classroom with a, 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 a teacher, female teacher dressed Western. If she doesn't have her cover or full dress, 
It will hurt our feelings. So there are many, many obstacles who doesn't do anything with the conflict. It's not because of the conflict. It's because of the very different culture we have here, uh, although we are cousins. <laughs> My daughter, she is 15, she is in the youth movement in my village. And she came back home, it was a month ago, and they had an activity in, about conflicts. Not Arab-Jewish conflict, conflicts. Like they had, a, a, they put a scale on the, on the, and on the floor, the, 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 the counselors, and they said, okay, if you give some questions, if you're for it, go to the other end, this end, and against it, go to the other end. One of the questions were, was, would you marry an Arab? All Jews, of course, in the youth movement there. And my daughter was the only one who stepped on maybe. All the rest got, went immediately to no. It's part of stereotypes, part of, of the, the situation in Israel. And I was asking her, I, I said, first I said, great, I love what you did. Let's think about it for a minute. Uh, what what's, what's the, what's the challenges for it could be? And we came up to the conclusion that we are living, I am living in a very mixed re region and we have Arab, uh, Arab, Arab uh, villages near me. I asked her, would you like to live in Mukable, which is an Arab village? And she immediately said no, because all the women are, most of them are not working, they have to stay home, uh, their head is covered. Not everybody, but this is a culture, this is what you see in the, and, and, and you know, it's still a patriarchalic uh, society. I said, of course not. I said, okay, so you see, it might be a problem. If you marry an Arab from Haifa, it might work. What, what will be with the kids later in school? So we were debating ourselves, how would it look like? And it's, we found out it's very difficult. I said, it's not an, about an Arab. It's, when you're a Jewish, you don't want to even, you, you prefer your kids to marry a Jewish person because of the consistency of your people. But I will accept, I told her, everybody will bring home. You need to think about the way you want to style life, you want to, to create yourself. If you go to live in America or in Italy, this is not a question even. Nobody will even feel about who is your husband or, or not. In Israel, you might want to think about the consequences of your decision when we as parents will, will get, will, will hug everybody you'll bring home. Even though we prefer, you'll, I am honestly saying, we prefer you marry a Jew because it, it will be easier for you to maintain your family life, especially in Israel. <laughs> this is my story. <laughs>